Minus a bald guy. And, uh, we're minus a bald guy. Yeah. Yeah. We got enough bald guys around. This we got a shout out but, to yeah. Benjamin Romain Waring. Romain? I don't know what his middle is name Romain is. Romain Lettuce? It's, yeah, it could be John. Max and Ben's his middle name. John's ben, his first name. Is John Benjamin? Yeah. Old JB. JB. Old JB. You know, basking in retirement. Yep, he's got, got, getting his rocking chair money now. How long is it be before you hit the rocking chair? Is it? Um, uh, well, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll make it. Uh, it probably is six years. And then you'll be a Walmart greeter. I'll be able, and ask if you want fries with that. That's right. If as long as I don't eat too many fries. That's right. We gotta tell. We gotta say. Uh, and. Uh, we're missing old Hiram Clap Saddle today. Yeah, he's a, I don't know what his deal is, but we'll, uh, we'll maybe get the saddle on. clapped him too. Much. Yeah. All right. Well, well, hello. Welcome to your old news update. Here's what you got. Here's what you got to deal with. I'm Izzy Fitz, and who are you? I'm Bud Driscoll. Let's shout out to our sponsors: Eagle Crest Retirement Community, 1501 Magnolia Headley's Clothing, 1829 South 9th. It's the best. That's the best right here. Shirt by Headley's. And Smoky Hill Museum, 211 West. All right, right now, right in. You are up. Okay, here's a bus for the past. I'll send this to Tyrese, and he won't know that so much time has passed. Hit this is 25 years ago, March 27, 1991, Tyrese. It says Tyrese Allen was almost a school dropout. He was told he wasn't college material, and he didn't experience any support to nurture his creativity in school. But in 1970, as a 14- or 15-year-old high school student, he made his first stage appearance in a performance of A Raisin in the Sun at Salina Community Theater. He went on to act in plays in, at Central High School and Marymount College. Allen has been working as a professional actor for 10 years, 25 years ago, appearing in numerous stage plays, some movies, television shows, and commercials. He's back in Salina to portray the character of Hoke, the chauffeur in the theater's production of Driving Miss Daisy. You ever feel like a raisin in the sun? I feel like I've been raising any time. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, let's find out what else I got. Oh, saying? March 27, 1941. Right. Luckily, some motorists who drove to work this morning along South Santa Fe did not take a number of speed limit signs, literally, or the police blotter, blotter might have been more cluttered. There, the 10 or more signs between South and Kansas Wesleyan University didn't really read speed limit 80 miles per hour. It was the work of vandals. The 3 in 30 had been crudely disfigured to resemble an 8, and now police plan a dis figuring themselves if they lay hands on the guilty persons. Well, they're going to give, give them a spanking. That's a lot of money even in 1945. Yeah, that would have cost you. Okay, now we're going to do some stuff we don't do, which is like read letters to the editor. Oh. We like to hear some feedback. Right. So like, you know, you think about this program. But this comes 100 years ago, so... It's been a while. Been a while. March 28, 1916. A letter to the journal. I took my children to a moving picture show in Salina the other evening, and I shall never do so again. Under the guise of an innocent title, I was induced to attend the vilest film production I believe could be shown. Blasphemy. It evidently had escaped the censors. Uh -huh. The story was not only revolting, but the acting should have no place in so-called respectable playhouses. If the United States desired to protect the youth of the nation from evil influences, it would place a federal censorship on pictures such as I saw. They might be fit for the Bowery or the Tenderloin, but they shall have no place in a respectable community. Signed, Mother. Uh -huh. Aha. What's a Bowery or Tenderloin? Is that like a bar or a strip That's, club or something? Yeah, well, six, that, you know, one of those uh, prostitution. Areas. All right. Well, not to be outdone. We've got a letter to the journal from April 1 of 1916. Oh, this will make your life feel better. My married life has been a failure so far, and I want to ask the help of the journal family in making life at my home at least bearable. Hmm. My husband spends all of his time and most of his money away from home. He even fails to come home to meals and sometimes, meals sometimes, and I don't know what to do. Hmm. <clears throat> when I ask him, he says he likes it better uptown. That is all and that he knows some women who care to take the trouble 
to look like something. He says that I look like a fright in my house dress and with my face red from the heat of the stove. Also, he says that I am no fun and never do the things he likes. That is because I can't go to a picture show every night and he never gives me any money for new clothes. There is a question in my mind as to what I shall do. Signed, Distressed. And uh, her husband's probably at the movies with his mother. That's right. No well, wonder it's a vile situation. Dear Distressed, grab that, grab a good heavy pot, pot and yeah. wrap him over the head with it. And for the distressed, my advice to you is stop watching The Little Rascals. That's right. Read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salana Journal. All right. Well, say hello to those that departed and those that are just missing. Yep. Going to miss you around here, Mr. Ben. And we'll see you and him yesterday.